Hi everybody, my name's Claire. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, for quite a while now, I wanted to do a bronze base. Never done a bronze base. I've done some um, other iridescent coloured bases, some blue black bases, um, some gold bases, and I've loved them. They're so bright and vibrant, love them. But I've never tried bronze, um, so I'm gonna try it. Um, I've spent some time online looking at colour schemes that go with bronze, and Every other colour scheme I'm, I can see online seems to be turquoise based. So I'm going to be using um, bronze base, some turquoises, but also some um, sort of pinky purple colours as well. Um, so it, if it muddies, it's going to look a, a mess. If it works, I think the colours could look fab. So let me show you. So this is what I've chosen. So my base is this Amsterdam bronze, absolutely gorgeous colour. So I've mixed a nice big pot there to try and show you the consistency. Um, it's quite nice and runny. So all my paints have been mixed with flow, flood fluorotrol. So they've been mixed two parts fluorotrol, one part paint, and this iridescent one is one part water as well. If it's not an iridescent paint, I add three quarters of a part water instead of the one. So for the design, I have these. So two more Amsterdam colours. I've got greenish blue and I've got turquoise um, blue. To the turquoise, I've added just a hint of pearl white. I just felt it was just a little bit too dark, so I've just lightened it very slightly. Um, I've got then I've got De La Rowney graduate acrylic colours. I've got Thalo turquoise and I've got the pearl white. This one is also De La Rowney, but it's a System 3 acrylic, and that is purple. Um, now, this is the purple, and this is a very, very pale version of the purple. So I just felt that with some such dark colours, we needed some more light. So I've got the white and the very pale purple. This colour is so, so dark. Um, I'd considered um, dilute, uh, to diluting it with white and, and making it a bit paler, but actually I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pair it with the white. So when I lay the colours down on the canvas, I'm gonna put that, that dark colour with the white. So hopefully they'll, when they blow out, it will show some lighter shades of that one. I'm using a 40 centimetre square canvas. So first thing I'm going to do is put the Dutch pour base down. Show you the consistency of it. It's nice and runny, nice and fluid. So let's, I'm just gonna put some paint in the center and then I'm gonna blow it out with my hairdryer. So what I'm liking already about this bronze is there's texture in it. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got these really pretty lines in it, but if you look really closely, you can see almost like little, lots of little bubbles in it, um, but it's not, it's, it's texture. It looks, it almost looks 3D, um, almost like the surface of the moon would be if it was bronze. Um, it's so pretty, really pretty. 
Right, so the other thing to say about this, this Dutch pour is I want to experiment a little bit with the um, with the design and laying down the colours. I've really enjoyed doing um, quite simple Dutch pours at the, recently where I've just put the paint across the centre here and then blown it out but having really big negative space here. Um, what I want to try, see if this will work, is do my normal line through the middle, but also do a few line, a couple of lines each side going off at a slight angle. Because what I want to do is fan my paint out here. So to me, it makes more sense to have a little bit more paint there to blow out and a little bit more paint here. So let's just get these colours in the order. I'd like them. I said I want the dark one and the white one next to each other. I'm going to put the white underneath the dark one. Um, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to start with the phthalo turquoise. So I think if I just to start with do my normal line, but then what I was thinking was doing some extra lines a little bit more like this where I actually want the design to be and the colours to be Right, that's all the colours down. That's quite a lot of colour on there. Let's give it a torch to burst any bubbles. because I think it will be easier because I'm right-handed to be able to blow the paint that way. So I think I'm just going to start in the centre and I'm going to blow that way and then that way. Oh my goodness. Wow, the colours are incredible. Wow, and I've got a very solid block of colour there, which is exactly what I wanted, but with a little bit of the bronze peeking through where these where these gaps are. Oh, I'm really happy so far. Right, let's see if I can match it this side. Wow. 
instantly I have got so many cells. Instantly. Right, I want to work on my composition now. This is a bit too thin in the middle, but I'm now going to blow um, using my breath instead of the hairdryer because I will wreck this otherwise. But wow, I fancy having a whole canvas just with that in. Right, I'm just going to do a bit of extra blowing around now. I am so, so excited by this piece. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Um, the colours are fab. The cells are fab. I'm so pleased with it. Um, let me show you these amazing um, effects. Just look at all the cells, all the white. I think it's the paley pink colour that's created a lot of the designs. Can you see, look there, in that, in that bronze band, that's the texture I was talking about. In fact, let me show you here. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's like, it is like the surface of a planet. So I'm just trying to get the lighting, the colour a bit better. There you go. Look at that. It's just so interesting. So you've got these lines, but also it's very, um, very, very textured. But look at these colours. You've got the, uh, the bronze peeking through, but the turquoises next to the purples are just, just gorgeous. There's just detail everywhere. So it's very, very intense where the design colours are, the pattern is, but I'm hoping that that is offset then by the negative space so that it's a, it's an interesting painting. So it's not too full on, it's not too, there's not, it's not so much detail everywhere because you've got the lovely negative space as well. And can you see the sparkle? Look at those colours next to each other. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Um, i just not sure how bronze will dry. Um, I've obviously used bronze in a lot of paintings, but not as a base. So it will be so interesting. So um, I'll be back when it's dry. I am so, so excited about this painting. Um, having never done a bronze base before, I'm absolutely bowled over by the colour. Um, let me take you in close on the... Sorry, that was a door slamming. A close up for the colour. Just look at that. I just, it's just incredible. So it's just like this wonderful, rich, sort of browner version of gold, but not brown. I don't like brown. This isn't brown. It's just a, oh, it's just a gorgeous colour. Um, I'm amazed by the details in this. Absolutely over the moon with them. Um, the cells and the blending of colours are just perfect for me. So you've got the cells and you've got the mixing of the colours, but you can still see all the colours totally separately, which I just think works so, so well. It's such an interesting piece. I am totally inspired by the way that I laid the colours down on for this piece. So by putting the central band and then the extra layers, it just means I've got this wonderful intense section everywhere, instead of just an intense band in the middle and then it getting paler, I like the depth and the intensity of the colour everywhere on the design section. Um, I mean, two minds about what to do next. Um, one thought I'd had was to play around a bit more with the composition. So I thought maybe about doing a swirl of colours in this in this new way, um, or um, to do something similar to. Um, um, what I did a couple of few weeks ago with the four paintings. So to pick out the other colours in these paintings, so um, the pink, the turquoise, and use those for a base. And so do some very similar paintings, but to alternate the base colour. Um, let me know if you, I'd love to know what you think I should do, because uh, I'd love some, um, some help and some further sort of guidance. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this painting. Um, I know the bronze won't be everyone's cup of tea for a base, but wow, it's it's just amazing. Let me show you again. It, the oh, the effect of it is just stunning. It's the iridescence just makes it so bright. 
um, and bright colours to me mean happy colours so I'm really happy about this piece. Great, thank you so much for watching. Do leave me comments, let me know what you think, let me know what you think I should do next. <laughs> Take care, bye.